Hey everybody, Dr. Greg Rose here at TPI. I want to do a little deep dive into the world of power. I want to specifically talk about torque. Now golfers twist, right? We twist in a couple different ways. We twist this way and we twist this way. I call this one rock and roll and I call this twisting. Those are called torques. I want to explain what a torque is, right? If I take the center of any object, okay, this is called the center mass. Let's take this stick. Right there's the center mass where I can balance the stick. If I apply a force right through the center, the stick just goes straight. It doesn't twist. If I take that same force and I move it off the center of gravity and off the center of mass, and now I apply that, it's going to twist and it creates a torque. So to create a torque, you need two things. You need some type of force and it can't go through the center mass. So basically what you need is this, is let's say I took 10 pounds of force and I apply it to this stick right here. To calculate the torque, what you would do is you would take the 10 pounds of force multiply it times the distance. We call that the moment arm. So the two things that create torque is the moment arm and the force. So if I apply 10 pounds of force, let's say one foot away from the center of mass, I would take 10 times one, that would be 10 foot pounds of torque. That's how we create torque, that's how we calculate torque. So there's two ways to make your golf swing twist faster, create more power. Power is torque times angular velocity. I wanna get as much torque as I can. The two things I can do here, is I can create more force, get stronger, push into the ground harder so the ground pushes back harder, or I can increase the moment arm, the distance away from the center of mass. That's what I wanna talk about. As a golfer, if I push into the ground, the ground pushes back. Sir Isaac Newton taught us that, that's his third law. So if I push straight down on the ground, this ground reaction force is gonna come straight back up into me. If it goes right through the center of my body, there'll be no torque, because there's no moment arm, I'll just go straight up in the air. If instead, if I push diagonally into the ground, like let's say I push that way. The ground reaction force pushes back this way. Now if that ground reaction force comes back and it doesn't go through the center of my body, it misses the center of my body. If it goes over here, it's gonna make me wanna do this. It's gonna make me wanna rock with right side bend, right? If I push into the ground this way and the ground reaction force comes back over here and it misses the center, it's gonna make me wanna twist this way. So depending on which direction you push, it makes you twist, rock, turn, all the different things you see in the golf swing. Now how do I increase that moment arm? I want to get the ground reaction force as far away from my center mass as possible, right? To do that, think about this. If I push straight down, it's going to come straight back up. So I kind of want to push more diagonally. The best golfers in the world, they push back with their right foot. So the ground reaction force is coming this way. In transition with the best golfers in the world, they almost lighten the lead foot. So there's not much pushing here. They're just pushing from the trail foot backwards. This ground reaction force is literally over here. And there's this huge moment arm, the difference between where the force is in your center body. And that helps create a lot of this type of torque in the golf swing. Another simple way you can increase your moment arm is your, your stance width. If I push the ground this way, I'm creating a force. The ground reaction force is coming here. Here's my center and it's making me twist. This is what helps me rotate. Well, if I just move my feet farther apart, guess what? The distance between where I'm pushing and my center of my body is bigger. This is why you see long drive players have really wide stance. They can create more moment arm, right? It's a really interesting thing is that, you know, if I want to make you hit the ball farther, I can go get stronger, go get in the gym, create more force, or I can just understand physics and say, I'm going to just push a little farther away from the center of my mass. I'll give you one other example. Let's say I go to the top of my backswing. I push into the ground. The ground reaction force is coming back over here. If I lean my body this way, right? So if I lean towards the target, a lot of players have what's called a reverse spine angle. Now the ground reaction force is going right through the center of my mass. You won't have any moment arm. That's why most people that do this, they don't hit it very far. Whereas you look at some of the big hitters, their chest is, they're more flexed. They're over here, right? So as they turn, they're over here and they're pushing this way. So now the ground reaction force is farther away from their center of mass. You'll actually create more torque, you'll hit it farther. So believe it or not, technique is one of the most important ways to change your moment arm. Strength conditioning helps you with force. There's a deep dive into the world of power and torque for the golf swing.